members and for any representatives that the Redskins have here today. And that is, what is the Redskins Charitable Foundation Leadership Council? What is it that they do? What is the quality of having that uh, in the city? And then does Bon Secours have a counterpart that's going to be working with them? I'm Bruce Allen with the Redskins. Um, nice to be here. Well, welcome to Richmond. Nice, nice to not be asking for you guys to give me leniency on a parking ticket. I like that one. But, uh, you won't get one. <laughs> I know that. I've lived here. I know that. Uh, the Washington Redskins Charitable Foundation is uh, really our right arm of the organization. Uh, I serve as president of our foundation and very proud of what we do in the community and it really started long before Bruce Allen came to the Redskins. Over a decade ago, Dan Snyder set this up because the Redskins and the NFL have a huge, huge platform. And working through our charitable foundation, we have Children Reads program, Play 60, with the, which is for the health of the child. We build football fields, we maintain football fields. But really what we do is we get our players involved in our community. And by doing that, we're giving back to the people who make us, who is our fans. And we've found great success with it. And over the life of this foundation, we've given over $15 million to different charities, which are usually, usually youth related. It's driven by kids. But that doesn't include what we do for breast cancer awareness. Our owner's wife, Tanya Snyder, is the chairman of the NFL's breast cancer awareness. And I know uh, uh, seeing our football players in pink sometimes doesn't look right. <laughs> but it is because, once again, we're utilizing the fact that we have to make awareness for a, a very, very valuable educational cause to our entire community and really to the country. Because when we play, as we did on Thanksgiving, while you all were working, we were beating the Cowboys. Yay. We don't play just on the local stage. We play on the national stage. And so when we do things, we try and make it uh, the awareness global. But generally, that's what we do. Thank you. Any more questions? Mr. Allen, what is there? And the foundation, it meets in D.C. Metro. It meets Yes, we're in Ashburn, Virginia. It's a certified 501c3. Uh, the leadership council is a lot of business leaders um, from around the area. Coach Gibbs is on it. And it, it meets and we try and figure out different ideas. That's why our football fields have been built from Maryland to D.C. and Virginia. I know a year ago I was down in Petersburg. We, we just uh, built a football field down there. So it, it, we try and stretch around based on where the leadership thinks we need help. Thank you, Mr. No, thank you. So, I just have one question. This is something about the children over there in that area. We have a lot of children, not only in the age district, but in Southside. That a lot of times they feel like they get left out because everything's across the river and nothing's really coming over here for them. Would you be willing to help these children over here in Southside? Well, without a doubt. But, uh, the, the great thing about sports, and you know, I, I understand your world a little bit, I have a brother who used to be in politics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, is we include everyone, and our fans are everywhere. And it, it's a special uh, bond that each player, each person of the organization has with everybody. So, yes, ma'am. Because I will say this, um, some of the children in my neighborhood, they were so happy on Thanksgiving Day when they saw the Redskins beat the Cowboys. Yes, it was <laughs> special. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? Okay. Hi, I am Charlotte Perkins with Bond Support, and thank you for allowing us to talk. Thank you. 